YouTube, this is Rain208. Uh, like I said, I was going to do a video on lightweight tackle. The definition of lightweight to me is a few poles. For me, it's going to be three. I'll be showing them. Light poles that are small for ice fishing. They're small, compact. You can fit them inside of a pool cue case. And you can carry all your tackle in a small backpack or even pockets. So, I'm going to show you the setup I have. I have a couple little helpers because they're bored and they want to mess up the videos. But enjoy, and here we go. Okay. Here is the small backpack I have. It's a small backpack that I use quite a bit for carrying stuff. One of the poles is this marmish rod. It's small, compact, I can fit it in my pocket and just literally go places and fish. Four pound test, I can do a lot of stuff. Trout, bluegills, small bass, crappies, right from a dock. You're good. You'll need a pair of forceps to get the hooks out. Me, I'm going to carry more than one knife. I've got my big old knife for cutting bait, like bits of fish. I got my cleaning knife. Now, here's the pool cue case that I was talking about. It's actually small enough that I can fit two small rods for mice fishing. Uh, this is a 25 inch rod, this one. And the other one is a 27 inch rod. Both of them are really good rods. You want a small reel. This one's got four pound test. It's pretty good action. I've actually brought in a few catfish with it. This one, it's, it's got four or six pound test. Eh, don't remember. I mainly use this one for bigger poles. I do actually have another video I'll be posting right after this. So, yeah. Now, here's the tackle. Uh, depth locator to find out how deep the water is. Some Northland Impulse smelts. Two of them pre rigged. Some gulp maggots glow in the dark. Uh, some scented gulp alive minnow fry. I had them in a different jar somewhat like this, only a little bigger but I had a problem the jar leaked so I'm to this jar right now okay for the rest of the tackle you're gonna want a few small bobbers since you're not using huge poles you're gonna want an array of jigs, hooks, sinkers, and lures. This is pretty much going to be your setup for tackle. Now, due to the small backpack, you're not going to have a lot of space for a whole bunch of tackle boxes. Here's the reason why. One tackle box is fine. Here are two styrofoam containers. This one I've taped up so when it's more sturdy. Inside we have night crawlers and little garden worms in here. That I'll be using on them in this little container. Some of you may be like, oh it used to be a ice cream container. Yes it was. But inside I have maggots. And as you can see these containers about as big as the jar. That's another thing for lightweight. Instead of carrying around a big old thing of night crawlers, those big old round jugs, or whatever you want, you got that. And the convenience of all this 
You can easily get on a bus, a bike, no problem at all. All you need is some time to do it. So, if by some chance you do have a problem with one of your reels, for me, since it's summertime, I'm only allowed to have one pole. I have yet to buy a two pole permit. I will have three poles. One, two, and three. I will switch out all three poles when I'm fishing. So like let's say the marmot rod isn't doing good. I can switch over to one of these poles and set up a different rig. And if those two aren't working I can switch over to a completely different rig. And if all of them aren't working just keep on trying until you get something. And the backpack also has a good purpose too. You could store your extra fish because I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's actually filled up. See that just fits in there just nice and snug. Now for the maggots. They just barely fit in there. Now we're going to go to the top. Knife and the forceps. They're already in there. Drop that in there. But this one I keep it upright so it doesn't tip. Just in case it might leak. So, that's what it looks like so far. And then, you got your tackle. You grab your two reels. You got them in there. And with this pole, well this bag, I can actually put my marmish rod on one of the arms. It's got a little cell phone or MP3 player holder. I just take it, flip it over so that the this part's down. Then you just put it in. There. The advantage of having marmish rods, you can have if you have ever heard of the nano fill, I actually have a pole with it. I'm going to grab here real quick. I have one with 14 pound test. If you have some of this, do be warned it does have issues. But if you find something like it has two or three pound test or something like that, you can put that on the marmot rod. Heck, going up to 10 pound test for the nano fill is like having three pound mono. Just as strong as ten pound test but the diameter of, of three pound. So you could actually do bass, pike, whatever you want on those. I've actually hooked into just before the season ends and I didn't have my camera because of a malfunction hooked into a two pound channel cat with that. It was one of the interestingest things I have encountered. So, now, if there's any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, if you have any pointers that you want to point out, uh, just do so. And also, pull cue cases don't cost that much. This one only cost me about $10 at Walmart. And... As you can see, I just put both of those poles inside of this pull cue case. And the added advantage, you got this little pouch in the front. You could keep all your ID and stuff in there for when you go fishing. Fishing game officer comes up to you and says, hey, you need to check your ID. You can open, pull it out and get it. So, hope you have fun this year and on to the next video.